When a narcissist sees you're not an easygoing person, this is how they may try to get you. For a long time, the motivations behind narcissistic behaviours, such as excessive self-praise, were a mystery. One such destructive behaviour is praising oneself excessively. One way narcissists deal with their feelings of inadequacy is to put on an egotistical front. It's a bit ambiguous since their worries are exacerbated by the people they reject and the behaviours they participate in to flaunt their money. Welcome back to another video. To begin, I would want to discuss the most crucial reason why modern narcissists are able to successfully charm and exploit their victims. Simply put, narcissists have been playing with us for a long time. Since the playing field has been unfair for a while, the game must now be over. Why? We have concrete evidence of their existence and understand our adversaries inside and out. Furthermore, they have perfected one strategy that has allowed them to successfully replicate our behaviour, love bomb us, and eventually catch us. The lengths to which narcissists would go in order to ensnare their prey should, therefore, never be discounted. Once they set their sights on a goal, they will typically stop at nothing to get it. They'll follow you around and interrogate your every move. In addition, Narcissists don't mind becoming wrapped up in the thoughts and deeds of others if they think it would help them win over or punish their enemies. Narcissists place a premium on outward appearances as a means of diversion and to give their lives some sense of purpose. Narcissists see life as a competition in which they must come out on top. Attempting to entice a fresh source of prey is a challenge they enjoy taking on. The more they can do and keep in the air, the more reason to celebrate. Great Caesars on opportunities, narcissists will resort to any methods necessary to replenish their depleting narcissistic supply. Narcissists realize they have to put in the effort and should be reliable and conscientious about succeeding. They try to find out more about us by probing our motivations. Yeah, that's quite correct. Someone who is a narcissist is self-absorbed. They learn your mental and physical habits and quirks as they observe you. Your joys and sorrows, the things that drive you to tears, and the ones that make you grin, they will likely pick up on whatever preferences you make, even though you have no clue who they truly are. The person you fell in love with merely reflects on yourself as they presented themselves to you. The narcissist will put more time and energy into getting to know you than you will into getting to know them. The narcissist has a thorough understanding of you, yet they continually want you to be bewildered by them. Suppose they can keep you thinking about their identity and abilities. In that case, you'll be more open to attempting to understand, forgive, and embrace them again, which reduces the likelihood that you'll eventually abandon and betray them. The narcissist gains immense power and success through observation. What this means is that they can mimic us, gain our trust, and eventually love bomb us into submission if they study our routines and eccentricities well enough. They figure out what communication channel is most effective for us and flood us with it. They are experts at gaining the respect and love of everyone they meet. They are taking the chance due to the high expected return. Why? Because they take pleasure in putting you in a position to fail and hence take pleasure in seeing you fail. They take pleasure in watching your disposition deteriorate from upbeat to downcast. They take great delight in seeing a once mighty enemy brought low. The grand prize, your death, has already been awarded to you. However, if you are well versed with narcissists and their tactics, you can bypass this challenge altogether. Your education on narcissists and their methods should improve after viewing the videos here. It will be harder for them to keep trying to trick and trap you now that you know more than they do. Narcissists are consummate manipulators, able to draw even the most discerning victims into their webs. You can count on them to try their best. 
To reach this goal, conducting investigations on their victims is crucial. For this reason, narcissists often develop unhealthy obsessions toward those they have hurt. They would focus all of their attention on their target to learn as much as possible about them. However, their impact decreases as their strategies become known and their gains become less subtle. For this reason, it's so important to spread awareness about narcissism and narcissists. Identifying their driving forces is crucial to achieving your goals. Narcissists analyze us in minute detail in search of weak points through which they may exert control. That way, we'll be better able to spot and avert future crises of a similar nature. Although they have been at it for some time, we have finally found a way to defeat them. While we were too blind to see their actual nature, narcissists have been studying us and what makes us tick. This is not the case any longer, though. Thankfully, we were able to deduce their strategy. Simply avoiding falling for their tricks, which we already know, requires us to have our wits about us. A person's level of achievement can be summed up in a single word, determination. Those with narcissism typically act as if they are the only ones in the world. That means they think too highly of themselves and crave frequent praise from others. It might be difficult to empathize with someone who is so wrapped up in themselves, and it's not always clear why we should. Recent research suggests that many narcissists aren't actually self-loving at their core. Instead of being motivated by love for themselves, narcissists frequently act out of a deep-seated loathing of who they are. New studies provide credence to the idea that low self-esteem and an insatiable need for affirmation lie at the heart of narcissistic behaviours like flexing online. The fact that some narcissists despise themselves challenges the common perception of boasters and forces us to reevaluate our strategies for dealing with this personality type. Narcissists spend their entire lives trying to manage other people's opinions of them because they are paralysed by insecurity and humiliation. A new study from New York University suggests that grandiose narcissists might actually be psychopaths, another mental disease in which patients show minimal empathy while behaving in their own self-interest. The study's authors argue that true narcissists are the covert variety since they are not motivated by a desire for dominance or power, but by the adulation and approval of others. Whatever the case may be, Narcissists pose a significant threat, and understanding how they function will be quite useful. I hope this video taught you anything new. If you have a comment or question, please post it below. It would be very appreciated if you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our future uploads. We appreciate that you viewed this. Thanks.